Hey everybody, this is Matt Richardson, contributing editor for Make Magazine. I just got back from the Intel Developer Forum where there was a lot of talk of Edison, and this is my first time getting my hands on the on the board. It is an Intel-based uh, system on chip or system on module that uh, is kind of a, a companion for the Intel Galileo, and maybe this one is probably a little bit more geared towards people who are gonna integrate Intel architecture into their product. So I'm gonna unbox it here for you so you can see what the, what the experience is like um, and what you get when you order an Intel uh, Edison. So that's, that's what it looks like. It's about the size of a postage stamp, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, the, uh, the chip on here is an Intel Atom chip. It has 500 megahertz. Uh, and there's also a Quark processor that runs at 100 megahertz. It's a microcontroller. It has 40 GPIOs, one gigabyte of RAM, and four gigabytes eMMC, and that's the onboard flash memory. Uh, it has onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy. So it's, it's pretty impressive. It's a lot for one little tiny chip. I'll take it out of the plastic here. So there's an antenna. It looks like a, what I'm guessing is a ceramic antenna, but also an antenna connector, uh, screw bosses, uh, it says, what will you make, Intel, with the Intel Inside logo, Intel Edison logo. Back, there's sort of the certification things, and there's a, the, the connector, and that's how it's going to connect to any kind of breakout board that you find uh, to use Intel Edison, and it's pretty much useless without some kind of board to connect it to. This is really just the brains at the core of a project or at the core of some kind of board, and there are many possibilities of different kinds of boards that you could use. And you, uh, one of them is included in this package here. Uh, this package has uh, screws. Um, this package has a an Arduino breakout board, an Arduino compatible breakout board. This, or some people might call it a sled. Um, as you can see here. Arduino pins, this is uh, the Arduino pinout. Um, it doesn't have all the PWMs that uh, an Arduino does. I think off the top of my head, an Arduino has six PWM pins, and uh, this particular board has, I think, only four PWMs. So the Edison will pop onto there, and the development uh, for, for this is just a lot like doing a Galileo development. Um, and so there's the Linux side, and then there's sort of the Arduino side of it, and they kind of work together so that you can do web-based things, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi enabled projects. Um, you can run a web server on this and so on. And so the idea is that perhaps you could prototype with this board, with these breakouts, and then eventually when you want to make your product or you want to make your project even better or smaller, you can snap this into a board that you design yourself. Um, you just got to have to worry about how you're going to get that connected. As a, a means of comparison here, I have a, a Raspberry Pi compute module, which is, I would say, the Raspberry Pi version of the Edison. And there they are lined up. The Edison's about half the size of the Raspberry Pi compute compute module, even less than half, I think, in terms of area. Uh, so that's what that's how you compare them. And, and keep an eye out on makezine.com for more details coming up about Intel Edison. Uh, also, if you're going to be at Maker Faire New York, uh, there'll be uh, Galileo and Intel Edison projects there and Intel Edison materials. So uh, keep an eye out for more coverage on this. That's it. Thanks for watching.